Ken, this is CRT. Welcome to this episode. In this episode, I am going to look at a brand new little gadget that I picked up. Now, before I say what that gadget is, I'm going to uh, tell you why I bought it. Now, as everybody gets older, their eyes get a little bit worse. So, a while back, I picked up these so that while I was soldering and everything else, I could get a better view of what I was doing on circuit boards and they work great but when I'm looking for broken traces and uh, bad solder joints and everything like that sometimes you just want to look a little bit closer so I picked myself up a Wi-Fi digital microscope and um, actually the reason that I got this was because it was at an auction and they had a crap load of these so I picked a couple up of them up for really next to nothing. I got one for my niece so that she could use it in school and I got one for me so that I could look at circuit boards. So guess what we're gonna do today? That's right we are going to try and hook this up see if we can film some footage of some circuit boards up nice and close. So let's jump right in and do that. All right let us take a look at what is inside this box first. There we go. So we've got a cable, um, USB cable. And this would be the stand. Two different stands, I guess. So I'm going to guess this. Oh. Yep, that is the microscope. So there it is. I guess probably I should. read the instructions and see what it says. I'll be right back. So I've put the application on my computer here. So this is it. I don't have the camera hooked up right now. But one of the really nice things when you go into settings, you can send all of your... So there, I've set the photos to go straight to the YouTube file that I have for uh, editing this video together and now I can set it up to microscope. There we go. Now both of these will send the photos and the recordings straight to my YouTube file for editing. Okay so I now have the microscope plugged into the PC. I could download an app onto my phone and do this which I'm probably going to do just thought it'd be easier to do the uh, microphone right now or the uh, the PC right now so there are LEDs so you can light up your workspace this is uh, turning it on and off focus and uh, zoom in and out I guess now there is one little piece of plastic on the end here that you gotta peel off Okay, well, let's try and record some video here. And we'll just try, see there. Oh, I don't like the way the lights are on there. I take that all oh, I guess you can take the lens cover off there we go haha -ha, much clearer see this is what happens when you don't read the instructions good for reading tiny little serial numbers anyway looking at some soldering obviously that's not soldering that I didn't do 
focus that up. Yeah. This could be fun. So another thing that you can do with this uh, microscope is you can take photos, which is that right there. So I will throw a bunch of these up on the screen so you can see what they look like. There we go. This microscope works. I mean, it's certainly not the most powerful thing in the world, but it gives me a nice clear picture of any components or traces that I want to look at. Nice blown up pictures on the screen. I can take pictures of stuff. I can uh, record video. So yeah, I'm very happy with this purchase. I mean, really, I spent around $10 a piece on these. So it's not like it broke the bank so yeah i think it was a good investment my old eyes are always very happy when there's something that can make nice big clear pictures for me to see of what i'm working on all right well that's all i have to say about this so i uh, hope you enjoyed this video if you did you know what you can do with the liking the subscribing and or the commenting below because anything and everything you do is always greatly appreciated. See you next time.